Hi, I'm Stephanie Mentz. I'm the head varsity girls basketball coach at Mid Park High School, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Ladies and gentlemen, Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. I'm Rachel Terrio. I'm Stacia Carey. And we're, we're from, from Mid Park, Park, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Woo! Yeah! <laughs>
I'm not going to dwell on it. What I am going to talk about is the effort that our kids that came in off the bench had tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought that they really kind of rejuvenated ourselves, and I give them a lot of credit. We're starting a lot of kids who have been in the program for a while, but I think that um, coming in off the bench, our, our role players really stepped up tonight and gave us good key baskets and good defensive efforts throughout this game. You have problems with turnovers in the first half. Cleaned it up pretty well in third. In yeah, the third I, I don't mind turnovers as long as you're trying to do something. If it's the first time that you're finally getting a look at a transition score up ahead, yeah, get rid of it. And if you throw it away, you throw it away. This is the time to make those mistakes. You know, in two weeks, we can't make those mistakes. Exactly. Um, you know, we could, we could change and we can evaluate between first half and second half tonight, and I thought we did a much better job in the second half, like you said. Mm -hmm. Coach, how much do you think your defense played on their struggling? <laughs> I thought that our defense forced them to take bad shots. Um, I don't think that they played into it. I think that we forced them to take those shots. What I am disappointed in is the fact that we forced them to take a bad shot, but we didn't convert on it. We let them get a second shot after that, and sometimes a third shot. I thought our defensive rebounding was poor. Uh, but I did think our contesting shots, we knew where their shooters were. We contested all of their outside shots. But we gave them too many easy buckets inside because we didn't play good outside defense to close in and get that rebound. Rachel didn't seem to be herself tonight. I know she still finished 7 and 10, but was she uh, not feeling well before the game and did she just couldn't get in the flow? Or? Hey, Steve Nash gets a night off too, doesn't he? <laughs> She doesn't have to do it all the time, and you still win by 32. Yeah. Uh, she can turn it on, she can turn it off. She re she realized tonight, and this is her growth as a player, she didn't force a lot of things. She took a lot of shorter shots tonight as opposed to the long ball, and I thought she tried to get her teammates involved a little bit earlier and a little bit more consistently. Um, you know, her, her assist totals weren't what they normally were because we missed a couple inside shots, but to say that she played off, no. She just didn't have a superstar night. She just played like, you know, a normal high school high school girl basketball player. Thoughts on, thoughts on yet another SWC championship? Three's nice. Yes. It's my favorite number. <laughs> my favorite three player. Three's now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, it's tremendous. I told the girls in the locker room tonight where it seems like you, you didn't play as well as we could have played and you still won the conference. Five years ago, if I would have told the boss that hired me that we would do this three years in a row, they would have laughed in my face because nobody believed that we could. Sure Goal matter. one is done. We've got a couple more we want to get. Absolutely. Eight for 61. That's got to be. <laughs> yes. That's it right there. Yeah, that's that's it. That tells a story. Uh, there was nothing that mid-part did to us. I don't think at all. In the we just could not hit a shot. I really, I mean, I mean that seriously. We just hit a couple couple shots at the beginning. We had a good tempo. I thought our defense was a great first half. I mean, to held them to 25 points is pretty darn good. I don't care what you say about that. If we had we need half our shots or in the game, if not in the league. So, I mean, that's I was very proud of that part. What's going through your mind when, when your team is just struggling, no matter what they're doing? Going to the lane, threes, just won't go in. Uh, you know, you feel sorry for them because we had a great game plan in, and, and, you know, they worked their tails off. This is for Southwest Conference title today. And, you know, it's just kind of keep digging, you know, keep fighting as much as we can. And, and when we got to turn, when we got it finally, but, you know, they turned the ball over, we got the possession, then we turn right back to them, which is just hard to do. So it's just, it, it just it's a frustrating game. The effort was there, but the performance was not. There's some nerves going into a game like this, knowing you know you got to struggle a little bit against mid park. Uh, you, know, you know, I think so because that was, because that's not our style of ball either. I mean, we, we like to push the ball down the floor. And we just made some, uh, you know, dislocated musical passes at times. And we know better than that, and we don't look down the floor as, as many times as we, we try to. But you know, as the game went on, what we did we settled down a little bit, and then, and then we got our feet underneath it, but we still couldn't hit any shots at all put us away quickly. Uh, they did a nice job there. And as soon as we can hit, they run down the floor very well. Uh, you know, Rachel Terry is the best point guard I've seen. Uh, she, she can handle, she can do anything she wants to do with it. Uh, she's a, she does a great, great job. When you see a team struggle like Westlake did, what's going through your mind? What do you guys want to do? Um, pretty much just stay on pace and do what we do. Don't worry about what they're doing. Just, I don't know, we struggled at the beginning just to you know, pull each other together and settle it down. You think it was a case of them forcing a lot or was it your defense? Um, I would have to say more forcing it. I mean, our defense wasn't the greatest. Could have been a lot more aggressive, force them to do more. But I mean, things happen like that. So. Did you feel like with them struggling, you guys should have built a bigger lead in the first half? Yeah, more than likely. But I mean, we didn't have that great of a game. They played pretty well, so we just. Um, what can you guys take out of this game to help you improve for the tournament? Consistency, pretty much rebounding. 
um, more aggressive on defense, just the little things pretty much, talking on defense. So. I gotta ask you, do, you, do you channel your little inner Magic Johnson sometimes with some of these passes? <laughs> no, they just happen on the spot, I don't know, just, I don't know, it makes it, makes it fun. So. Is he like one of your idols or something? Who do you um, attribute your game to? I like Steve Nash. He passes a lot, but Magic, I, I mean, I've seen him play, but never really, like, watched him, watched him, so. <laughs> It also seemed like second half. You guys were just kind of coasting. Did mm -hmm. you feel that way? You, you didn't really go after No, him. not really. The way that Westlake was playing, still uptight, aggressive, and everything, made, made the game seem like it was a lot closer than it was. So.